Hi all, let's take a look at the fascinating game in the TSEX Season 18 Super Final Round 34. So this has a phenomenal idea in it. Stockfish playing white plays e4. The opening book set is the Sicilian Dragon. So we have d6 head, d4. C takes, knight takes, knight f6, knight c3. Pretty standard stuff so far. So we have here bishop e3, bishop g7, f3. Black castles, queen d2, knight c6. And now after bishop c4, we have a slightly unusual move. This is not a main line move. It's not thought to be that great. Knight d7. So there are other ways of playing the position here. But let's go with this. Knight d7. It has been seen a few times before. We have h4. And now, in this position, an example stem game with knight b6. Uh, there's a very interesting game of Mikhail Tal, actually, in the knight b6 variation after bishop b3 here. Mikhail Tal, with the white pieces, gave up the dark square bishop and, and the other one. So playing against black's bishop here. But after playing for f5 here, this was very dangerous for black's king safety. Mikhail Tal played a brilliant game here after queen h6 here, offering the rook there. That is taken. Check. And now knight d5 with the threat of knight e7, checkmate. And we have rook e8, queen g5, check. And now h6 threatening queen g7, checkmate. E4 protecting indirectly G7, F6, and here actually after Rook G8, Black actually uh, resigned. The final uh, continuation would have been Queen G7 check, and here after H takes Knight E7 checkmate. It is a rather dangerous line with bad statistics actually. This whole line with Knight B6. Sometimes players with black have drawn, though. There are examples. Uh, Shikovsky against TV Arkov, for example, in 2003. Uh, black managed to draw, uh, you know, with the knight going here. But here we see a quite unusual move, which has only been seen in a correspondence game of two fairly low-rated correspondence players before. So this is the chosen move <coughs> pardon me, of Leela. So we have white casting queenside. And now Lila plays queen a5. In that correspondence game, this is Job against Ventimiliga in the IECC email correspondence game, there was actually knight d e5 here. Uh, Black managed to get a very, very good attack going, actually. Taking out that queen a5 and how... The knight actually was very useful after taking here, bishop takes, knight b4, and here knight takes a2 is crushing with that pin on d2, white had to resign there. So that was that um, correspondence game. But here Lula plays queen a5, very different idea, king b1, and now queen b4, so putting annoying pressure on white, and actually stockfish plays now knight d5 offering the bishop on c4 there's also a threat of knight takes e7 check so it's kind of annoying there's no real time for taking it because of that knight takes e7 check so leader actually takes on c4 and the idea is revealed after b3 where is the queen going now this is the big mystery now if the queen goes to a6 uh, then surely there's knight c7. Let's put that on the board. So queen a6. Doesn't that run into knight c7? That looks nasty. And white can take that rook. And there's no real dangers on the diagonal. The knight can actually come back and kick the queen out of a3 with a big advantage. So what's the idea after b3? Black to play here. Guess what Lena played in this position for 100 points? Okay. Yep. 
queen takes d4 so gathering three pieces for the queen is this enough because actually aren't a couple of pawns quite vulnerable here these pawns are about to be scooped away knight takes e7 check thank you very much and now c4 fixing down the d6 pawn taking time to uncover an attack soon on d6 so it also be it will also be two pawns for white extra a5 trying to activate the rook and we have queen e3 so now giving the idea you know rook takes d4 is on the cards so the knight steps back but uh, knight takes c8 knight was hitting e7 knight takes c8 is played and now rook takes d6 so surely white is with the advantage materially here at least with two extra pawns as well a formidable moroxy bind but has black got sufficient counterplay to drum up here on this diagonal maybe this and these knights we have knight d e5 f4 knight g4 the queen steps back to d2 a4 b4 trying to keep things closed there not to let black have some open lines against the king a3 a form pawn is installed are all the worries over now with the form pawn but we have rook h3 with the idea sometimes of rook b3 if needed if black really is going to do something like rook a4 that can be handy this rook h3 we have knight f6 queen e1 protecting e4 like that rook a4 now rook b3 knight e8 hitting this rook on d6 rook d5 knight d4 hitting the rook on b3 and unveiling an attack on c4 is there a concession here for white here in this position we have queen c3 knight takes b3 take b3 taking an exchange at least queen takes rook a8 so it's simplified somewhat we have c5 b6 just trying to undermine this pawn chain and open that c file rook d7 there are dangers in this position on taking to factor in like bishop b2 if taking so white is deciding to keep that c file closed for the moment and plays actually rook d7 which seems quite dangerous to win f7 and maybe f5 after it seems like a very very dangerous idea b takes and we have queen takes f7 c takes b4 and now f5 this does seem rather dangerous to go for the king here for black's king rook c6 defending laterally f takes g6 check rook takes queen d5 hitting the rook on a8 so this is a very very interesting decision because also the pawn is attacked on h5 as well so what do you think was played here by Leela if I give you 10 seconds for 100 points here black to play and at least try and secure you know not not to lose from this position it's quite easy to lose surely uh, okay so what would you play with black okay a very very interesting move now b3 just offering the rook on a8 so white doesn't bother taking on h5 here in fact white takes on a8 that looks very very lucrative to take that we have now rook takes g2 has black got enough to try and salvage something here rook takes g7 knight takes and now we have a takes and in fact Lila conjures up after rook b2 check king a1 rook takes b3 a rather intriguing fortressy style you know fortress style position after e5 the pawns are away from each other here kind of dislocated and it seems this was pretty understood that they can be blockaded rook b6 for a while stockfish thought it was about plus three here check but if there's no way of concretely 
infiltrating. It's a hard nut to crack indeed. And in fact, we have a bit of high level shuffling now. But the king really can't really help the queen. It, it does seem like a fortress blockade now. And it carries on a little bit like this. You can see white really can't do too much to infiltrate the black position. And I've been keen on improving my drawing skills recently and I, I thought that fortresses might be the way to go. But not to be too trustworthy, as Magnus Colson says. And you know, he doesn't believe in fortresses, he's mentioned. Maybe to be a bit cynical if you want to try and set up a fortress, but if you can, it's a good drawing mechanism mechanism really. So here actually the game ended at move eighty nine. Uh, Stockfish believed there's no way in. And yeah, a draw here. So a fascinating little queen sacrifice there for three pieces, dropping two pawns after, installing the form pawn, getting some material back, having the king exposed, and then after the dust settled, creating a fortress draw with rook and knight against the queen. So I thought it was a, like a fascinating draw to cover from this super final. Uh, really, really interesting play from both sides. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, check out you know tsec-chess.com. It's a fantastic event to follow. And uh, I don't usually cover draws, but this one, yeah, was quite fascinating. I think I'll be back on the slice of games now after this. Okay, comments, questions, like, share, subscribe, all appreciated. And if you want to challenge me at Chess World, kingscrusher.tv or bit.ly slash Chess World, if you register, register there, I'll be able to invite you for a game after. Okay, thanks so much.